Thank you, Sharam, and hello, everyone. It's great to be joining you. I'm John McNulty, Vice President of Technology for the Minerals Division here at Weir, and today I'm going to talk to you about tailings, what they are and why they're a high priority for our customers. I'll explain how our TerraFlowing integrated solutions for tailings support our growth ambition, helping customers use water wisely, use less energy and create less waste, and how we are boosting performance across the minerals flow sheet with Sinotrex digital solutions. Firstly, a bit of context. Tailings are the waste stream produced in conventional mining processes. They are a slurry of waste rock powder and water with a liquid content that is typically around 45% by weight. In an average copper mine, 99% of mined rock ends up in the tailing stream. And with typical mineral contents and ore bodies below 1%, that means that for every tonne of rock processed, you get 10 kilograms of copper, but you also get 990 kilograms of waste material and that goes to the tailings. In fact, mining produces a staggering 19 billion cubic metres of tailings each year, the biggest waste stream on the planet. In mining, there are three principal methods used for dealing with tailings. The traditional and most widespread today involves pumping waste streams to large tailings ponds where they are stored indefinitely. This requires safe and energy efficient transportation, to which our Warman and Gaho pumps coupled with our CAVEX cyclones, provide a good solution. However, with such large volumes of waste, land capacity for the tailings pond itself is a significant consideration. And so is the water content, as the more water that's contained in the waste, the more unstable the tailings become. And as we know, this has given rise to a number of very tragic dam failures in recent years. Tailings ponds also tie up large volumes of water, which is an issue particularly in water-stressed areas such as Peru, Chile and Australia. So there has been increasing pressure on miners to look for safer, more sustainable options. And with it, a need for technologies that can reduce the water content of tailings to enhance its stability, decrease the amount of land area required and reuse water in other parts of the process. For this, there are two further methods. Thickened tailings, where the waste stream is dewatered to remove up to around 85% of the water. This creates a stable tailing stream, rather like toothpaste, which can be moved with special pumps, with the extracted water recycled back into the process. The other approach is called filtered tailings, which essentially removes more water from the waste stream to produce a relatively dry waste and reusable water stream. The filtered tailings are typically conveyed or transported using trucks. As shown in the table on the right, when choosing a tailings approach, the challenge for miners is to optimise water preservation and sustainable long-term stability with the lowest possible energy use and hence emissions. Weir's proprietary terraflowing technology based on the thickened tailings methodology or paste is a sweet spot solution for water, stability and emissions. And because customers' tailings needs vary from mine to mine, it isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. So we are using our unique combination of best-in-class technology, engineering expertise, an understanding of miners' priorities to develop integrated solutions for tailings that are tuned to our customers' needs. We call this TerraFlowing. And on this slide, you can see an example of the process flow. We have cyclone and screening technologies to improve water and sand separation and create a drier and lower volume waste stream. And if the tailings particle size composition allows it, we can extract sand from the tailings for use in dam wall construction. This further reduces the volume of tailings that has to be stored and extracts value from the tailings waste stream. Overall, we are able to remove up to 85% water which is then recycled back to the process plant. The resulting paste may be too thick for conventional slurry pumps to handle. Here is where we bring in our Gaho pump technology, which is the market leader in pumping dense pastes with a low water content. With Gaho technology, we can pump these dense pastes effectively over very long distances if required, allowing miners to store at locations that may be some distance from the mine without having to use trucks for transportation. More generally, the pastes produced via TerraFlowing are relatively stable 
and require substantially reduced storage volumes, thereby extending the life of existing tailings storage facilities. You may be thinking, why pump as a paste when you could filter technology to remove even more water? The issue is energy use and the associated costs and CO2 emissions. Our engineers have correlated the content of the paste with the energy and the CO2 emissions produced, comparing Weir's terraflowing technology with a filtered tailing solution. And although the total water recovery is 10% higher for filtered tailings compared to paste tailings, it is offset by two to four times more CO2 emissions. There will be circumstances where filtered tailings are stipulated by local legislation and the customer has no choice but to use it. However, our analysis clearly shows that terraflowing provides lower total cost of ownership to achieve a result very close to filtration, a perfect example of TCO squared. With the high profile of tailings and the need for smart, efficient and sustainable solutions, our terraflowing technology and integrated solutions underpins our ambitions to grow ahead of our markets and minerals. Let me share a short case study. An iron ore customer in Mexico needed a tailing solution to help them meet their future production targets. Working in partnership with the customer, our engineers developed an innovative integrated solution, which combined Weir's recyclones, warming pumps and endurance screens replacing the mine's existing basic thickener plant and extracting a valuable side stream of construction sand for dam wall raising and substantially reducing the overall volume of tailings produced. The terraflowing solution will increase water recovery by 35%. Providing more processed water can be reused and resulting in a significant reduction in wet tailings. And the solution eradicates the need for a new tailings dam therefore delivering significant cost and environmental benefits for the customer. Customers have always chosen Weir's highly engineered solutions for the highest productivity with the lowest total cost of ownership. And as I've just explained, we're now turning TCO into TCO squared with our sustainable solutions. As we continue to evolve our technologies to maintain market leadership, we are launching an upgraded generation of our proprietary platform, Synertrex, which boosts digital performance for our customers. This digital overlay is an essential part of our integrated solutions, enabling them to operate at best efficiency, and in the case of terraflowing, produce an optimum water and energy savings. Furthermore, maintenance can be optimized and planned, thereby improving overall efficiency of the equipment and enhancing productivity on the mine. With the enhanced features I have just described, our second generation of Synertrex creates intelligent equipment and is the most powerful ecosystem available on the market for this application. Synertrex provides data-driven insights on our equipment, while Motion Metrics generates complementary insight on those processes within the mine. With these two platforms, our strong positions in mining technology and our growing AI expertise, we see exciting opportunities to develop enhanced and optimised ecosystems. These will drive growth for Weir and deliver smart, efficient and sustainable solutions for our customers. Thank you, and I now hand you back to John.